cut. Welcome to Razor News. I'm Perrin. I'm Ava. I'm Trent. Today is January 22nd, 2024. The basketball teams have two games this week. Tonight, we will host Powdersville. The girls' game begins at 530. Individual tickets and discounted season passes for all home events may be purchased online through My School Books. Thursday, they play at Riverside. Christy Marcus is our Teacher of the Month, and Justin Gibson is our Staff Member of the Month. Also, Miss McDonald was selected as the WYFF Golden Apple Award winner. The segment will air sometime in February. She was nominated by Luke Blue. Don't forget, FCA or Hogs for Heaven meets every Wednesday from 8 to 8.30 in the auditorium. Everyone is welcome to come and bring a friend. Walhalla High School will host Freshman Focus Night on February 8th at 6 p.m. Individual graduation <laughs> plans will take place February 12th through the 16th at Wahala Middle School. An informational meeting for the Miss Walmyra pageant will take place on January 25th at 8 a.m. in the auditorium. Please email Miss Marcus with any pageant-related questions. Time is running out to guarantee a 2024 yearbook. The deadline to guarantee a copy is February 23rd. Online sales will come continue until supplies run out. Yearbooks are $40 and payment plans are available. Go to joshins.com or use this QR code. Use the link on Daily Bulletin to order. Eighth graders who are interested in applying for the Wahala High School yearbook staff for next year should complete an application by January 26th. The link can be found on the Daily Bulletin. Get your Razorback swag before February 4th. The Razorback Apparel Store is open now. Use this QR code to order or look for the link in the Daily Bulletin. The Green Steps Club wants to remind everybody to recycle plastic bottles during lunch time. There are three available recycling bins. Two are in the cafeteria. The other is next to Dr. Silva's classroom. Please make sure you take the cap off the plastic bottle and toss the cap into the garbage can. Empty the bottle and then you can recycle. Also, don't forget about the sharing table. Take or leave your unwrapped food or drinks for free. And that's all for Razor News. See ya. This week's Vox Pop is Who Would Narrate Your Life? I choose Kiana. And why? Because I've known her the longest more than anyone and because she's my best friend. Great answer. Thank you. I am here with Audrey. Who do you choose to narrate your life? Probably Caitlin. Why? Because she's my best friend and I've known her since kindergarten. Thank you. I am here with Finn. Who do you choose to narrate your life? Benjamin Garland. And why? He's my king. Go off king. Now, welcome to the weather. Today's high is 44 and it has a low of 20 with a 0% chance of rain. Tuesday's weather is a high of 47 and a low, thir low of 31 with a 53% chance of rain. Wednesday's high is 55 and the low is 42 with a 92% chance of per precipitation. Thursday's high is going to be 60 with a low of 47 with a 90% chance of rain. And now Friday with a high of 61 and a low of 48 and has a 55% chance of rain. Not the best week for being warm. Real. I kind of stuttered a bit. Same here, dog. We asked students and staff what is the best pizza topping. Um, pineapple. All right. Pepperoni because it makes it spicy. Veggies. Uh, cheese. And why? Because it's basic and, I, and I'm a basic guy. Hi, it's me, Trent, and we're here with Mr. Dixon asking the poll question. What is the best pizza topping? Pepperoni, cheese, uh, pineapple, barbecue, chicken, or veggies? Well, from those choices, I would have to go with the traditional pepperoni. Why? Um, just, it just kind of fits the mold of Italian food and stuff like that, which pizza is. But, um, you know, the best pizza to me is a nice cauliflower crust with a sugar-free marinara sauce, mozzarella and parmesan on it, and sausage, turkey sausage. 
But now, if you really want to try something else, you can do that same thing. Put a basil pesto sauce on it. Put you some mozzarella cheese and Parmesan on it. Some some uh, pear and some uh, bacon and some arugula. It's delicious. And, and that's some. Mr. Dixon. But the thing that makes that one pop is gorgonzola cheese. And that's Mr. Dixon. In my opinion, the best pizza topping, if it wasn't from that list, is probably chocolate. Bye. And the online results are in. 183 uh, people voted in. It looks like pepperoni was the last slide with 41.5%. Cheese came in second for 30.6%. Pineapple and veggies were close, 11.5%. The pineapple and veggies for 10.4%. Last was barbecue chicken with only 6%. Thanks for voting. Look for next week's poll to drop sometime today. Hi, my name is Ava, and the animal of the week is the tufted deer. The tufted deer lives in Asia and is characterized by the tuft of black hair on its forehead and fangs. A little picture of the tufted deer appears at their side. Hello, I'm here with Camden for the more you know. Invisible disabilities or hidden disabilities are disabilities that are not immediately obvious. Some examples of invisible disabilities are intellectual disabilities, autism spectrum disorder, attention deflect, hyperactivity disorder, mental disorders, asthma, epilepsy, and allergies. Thank you, Camden. Hi, I'm Julia. And I'm Perrin. And today, we're for Razor News DIY, we're going to be cooking up some beaded, beaded snowflakes. snowflakes. So, first step is we're going to cut two pipe cleaners in half. And then you don't want to wrap them up. You want to lay them down and make the snowflake shape first. And then... Just like this, guys. Oh, yes. Here's our example. Yeah. And then with a little piece, we're going to just cut this out of pipe cleaner. We're just going to wrap it around the center so it stays put. It's going too fast for me, Julie. And then after you make your snowflake, you can start putting beads yep, on your snowflakes. Silver beads, white beads, old, like pearls, and random colors. I'm starting with the silver ones. Okay, you so do that. That's what mine looks like so far. Mine's getting there. <laughs> Mine's going to look all wonky. It's okay. Here, i got to cut it. I'm gonna I'll eat yellow. Them. Okay, I think mine's done. I actually, I'm not gonna do the demo. Well, wait, now I have to do the ends. I already did the ends of mine. No, you didn't. You have to tuck them in. Oh, sorry. Oh, or you have to like twist it around. No. All right. Um. Well, that's it for Razor News DIY. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm here with Finn, and he's going to give us the phrase of the week. Go off, King! Um, why do you choose that? Because you always need to go off when going off. Yes!